From the secret palaces of the Orient, from the modern masters of Hollywood, comes the most charismatic, most exciting, most reality-altering talk show in town. It's Marcus the Interviewer. Marcus the Interviewer. It's not just a talk show. It's psychological entrapment. They'll never see it coming, and they'll never know what hit them. One show, and the audience is yours forever. Join the masses and applaud, laugh, cheer, and yell his name. Marcus gets you in the mood. He brings out the person inside of you. He brings out your energy. He charms. He gestures. He enchants. He acts. He's a charisma. And around him, you feel like one too. Remember, if you don't use him, then someone else will. Act now while there's still time. Come in and tell your story. Come in and promote your brand. Come in and set the world on fire if that's what you desire. For Marcus is the guy who's got you covered. Legends are born, not made. Stars, celebrities, and legends are made here at Marcus the Interviewer. You come in a civilian and leave a superstar because that's just what Marcus does. Watch Marcus on weeknights with the hottest commodities and superstars in town, and join in on the fun after work. Sit back, relax, and let Marcus do his thing. Come be a guest on the hottest, most talked-about, culture-driven show, Marcus the Interviewer, where stars are made and legends and icons are celebrated every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. Central Standard Time to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Allow your favorite brother and friend to take your brand to the masses. Marcus the Interviewer is ready to tell your story. Okay, shake dancing, people, 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 America, people in outside of America, everybody. Listen, welcome to a brand new episode of Marcus the Interviewer Show. You already know what we do every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we have some dynamic guests on tonight. You already know what Thursdays is. Thursdays is the Marcus the Interviewer Show Autism Spotlight, in which I am happy to have a shirt sponsored by the Sounds of Autism right here. Yep. Yep, they out their organization out in Phoenix, Arizona. They're doing amazing things. Cricket, Bobby, the whole staff, the whole foundation. They're doing amazing work. So I'm honored to wear your shirt. So you already know, family. Listen, I don't know how your day was, but listen, my day was kind of starving. My day was starving like somebody that wanted to get a sandwich. My day was starving like um, I didn't get enough to eat at Thanksgiving meal. So that's how my day was. But you already know, people, I can't do nothing without my theme music. Hey, yo. What's up, big? Yo, this is the one, bro. Oh, yeah? What's good? I am telling you, man, that, that cat, Marcus Boyd, yeah. you know, the interviewer. Yeah, I know that cat. This is the one, bro. Woo. Okay. Mr. Marcus Boyd, the interviewer. You want the scoop, he gon' give it to you. No matter the conversation, he's already prepared to go and get into it with you. If you want somebody that's willing to listen with positive information for the vision, then all you gotta do is give him a call or catch him on his Instagram, that's all. And he gon' get with you like ASAP. They gon' tell you where to place that. And he gon' give you every single thing you need in order for him to, like, make that dream happen for you. You believe in it, do what you do. Competition is sick with the flu, so if I was you, I would just jump on the plane, cause he Yo. coming through. Yo, it's Marcus Boyd, the interviewer. Some people call him a connoisseur. If you ain't never had it, you about to get it Cause Marcus is about to give it to ya Marcus Boyd, the interviewer The conversation king Kenny's the ruler You'll never find an interviewer that's cooler than leave you feeling like he already knew ya It's Marcus Boyd, the interviewer Call him a connoisseur If you ain't never had it, you about to get it Cause Marcus is about to give it to ya It's Marcus Boyd, the interviewer Conversation king Kenny's the ruler you Woo! <laughs> Mr. Marcus Boyd be bucking and bucking and bucking on him like a Bronco Catch you with them conversation combos He ain't with the he said and the she said That ain't the way he's done, yo It's that real deal Holy field it's so for real and you can feel that He escaped from all of the imitators So you know that he know where the real at Like A1 on your plate, son, but it's all good We don't knock that But it's ball floss with his hot sauce And he paid the cost, so we rock that Get your now ladies and your lemon heads With your popcorn and your soda pop Now go ahead and buckle up your now, and In a second, yo, the show Yo, drop. yo it's Marcus Boyd, the interviewer Some people call him a connoisseur If you ain't never had it, you about to get it Cause Marcus is about to give it to ya Marcus Boyd, the interviewer The conversation king Kenny's the ruler You'll never find an interviewer that's cooler Than leave you feeling like he's already it's Marcus Boyd, the interviewer. Call him a connoisseur. If you ain't never had it, you about to get it. Cause Marcus is about to give it to you. It's Marcus Boyd, the interviewer. Conversation King Penny, your ruler. You'll never find an interviewer that's cooler. Like, aye, 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 aye. 
You know, people, you know, people, people gonna hear that like they hear Mr. Rogers neighborhood every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm telling you. Listen, I want to thank the minister out of Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you for the jingle intro music. You know what I mean? The music video is on the way. Period. You know what I'm saying? So um on today. Again, Thursdays is Autism Spotlight, and I take that very seriously because I have autism. So I believe in spotlighting families, individuals, professionals, organizations, foundations, um, anybody that works with autism, has autism, deals with um, people with autism, fights for autism. Listen, Thursday, this is the day. We spotlighting everything, and I got to... I gotta, a message about this amazing family, right? Like when the message was like, like they, they like a musical family and they give back to the community and they work hard and they sacrifice and stuff like that. But I mean, I, I was just told that about the wife. I ain't know about the husband. I didn't. I was just told that about the wife. I mean, all that that I just said, that was about the wife, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure the husband does amazing things too. We're talking about no other than the legendary Gardner family. People, if you don't know them, you need to get to know them. And they're right here on Marcus the Interviewer Show. Let me let me go ahead and bring them in. Let me go ahead and bring them in right now. You know what I'm saying? How you doing, Legends? How you, How you doing? doing? How you doing? Love that song. How's everybody doing? So. I don't want to get your names wrong and stuff like that. Welcome to the Marcus, the interviewer show family, to your family. So introduce yourselves, let everybody know who you are um, and what you do. Okay, I am Adrian. I'm Music Box. And we do Christian hip hop gospel. We also have a son named Judah that inspired our music. He is special needs, he's autistic also. And um, everything that we do, we involve him in it. So we are Adrian and Music Box. We try to give back to the community, even though people think because you have a child with special needs that you're the one that needs help. Yeah, sometimes we do, but we give back to the community oh, also man. because we believe if God bless us to bless somebody else, he'll bless oh, us man. also. Yeah. Just what it is. Yeah. Wow. So you That's a legend him right there. Him. I hear him. I hear him. Hello. Oh, I hear yeah, him. That's the yeah. legend right there. Oh, you be over here in a minute. He don't last too long where he at. <laughs> what, Juju? Yeah, but his name is Judah. Judah was actually born um, one pound, one pound, two ounces. He actually went under a pound. And they gave him 24 hours to live. Um, wow. Judah now, he'll be 18 this year. 18 when they gave him 24 you know what? hours and i'm telling you that you know what they that's only. you know what family they gave uh, the legendary judah 24 hours to live but adrian and music box said that's not what god said that's why we about to drop a bomb on it right now i'm sorry we about to drop a bomb straight all right that's a bomb dropping moment okay. period oh yeah Oh, yeah. You know, they didn't give him long to live. And I tell you this, he has impacted so many lives. People have gotten saved because of this child. So I'm telling you, God is doing a wonderful thing. He will use anybody to bless somebody. Amen. Amen. Son. Uh, one thing I've always did, I, I always saw him as a blessing. I never saw him as a curse. I always saw him as God blessing me, giving me a gift. And that's the way we treat you. Like he is truly a gift from God. He is so rotten. He is so spoiled. So if y'all hear him, he just switching phones, like everybody phone. Um, but I am truly, truly thankful for opportunities like this to let people know autism does exist, but hey, you can still live through it. You can still live in it. You can still be a blessing. You can still bless other people. And that's what inspires us in our music. Yes. Isn't that right? That's right. So where are y'all located? Where is the music box and Miss Adrian from? Are y'all? I don't even, where are you from? Oh my God. Our background is crazy. Okay, well, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. And she's from. Okay, Kansas City. shout out to Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> and she's from Kansas City. But we ended yeah. up in the same place. Yeah. We went to the same hold on, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How did, how did Kansas City 
and and Alabama connect. Like how did well, how did that no. work? How did, <laughs> well, we started as best friends. Like, oh, oh. We start we started as best friends. We've been best friends for about seven and a half years before we actually kicked it off as Adrian and Music Box. Yeah. It was funny because I never thought it would be him. And when we started talking about our our, our past, you know, like, no, no, shame on you, Adrian. Shame, no, no, shame on you because it's always the nice guys. The nice guys never get picked first. We don't get picked first. No, he was in the relationship. I was too. We were just best friends. <laughs> we were just best friends. That was it. You know, and I tell you, God's timing is everything because we really got together when we both gave up. That was the time mm -hmm. that God mended us together was when we both said we were done with dating people. And one day he came to see me at my pastor house and it was over from there. Like God gave me new eyes for him, a new heart for him, everything. So we've been a couple ever since. And we have really, it has really been a blessing being with your best friend. It has really been a blessing. Wow. Never would have thought wow. in a million that, that, years. That's, 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 that's a Sunday testimony right there. Yeah. Our family, family. Y'all yeah. need to go to church. Y'all need to go to the, purposely their church so you can hear the, the Sunday testimony. Exactly. <laughs> so exactly. where are y'all, where, what state are y'all located in currently? Uh, Beaufort, South Carolina. Y'all in South, South Carolina? Carolina. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm coming to Spartansburg. I'm coming to Spartansburg. Okay. Spartan, I'm coming. Coming to Spartansburg. <laughs> ain't that far, ain't that far. <laughs> October 15th. I'll be in Spartansburg, South Carolina. <laughs> okay. 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 Make sure you hit us up. Maybe, maybe we can meet you and go get some food or something. Don't, don't listen. I'm fat. You will see my. Don't, don't you play with me. Don't, don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't, don't you do it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Because listen, <laughs> what you don't know is I'm a music producer. I produce Christian artists. I've been doing it for 23 years. <laughs> so I produce Christian artists. The, oh, the, my wow. theme song music. He's a gospel rapper out of Georgia. <laughs> so that was my beat you heard. Oh, so I've been doing oh. that for 23 years. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And I've been doing it for about the same amount of time. I think I've sung with some of everybody. And when we, it's so funny because how Mike got, how he realized what his gift really was. He was sitting on the sofa. Oh, his name is Mike. And I was like, his name is Mike, not the music, but oh, oh, you know, they have the whole government See, family. Mike, Mike, family, I want to erase right that part right in the video. He became the music box. He became the music box. Because I'm telling you, where he is now, even the growth that I've seen in him has been so awesome. It has been so awesome. So I am so thankful to be a part of what we have together and, and and it's moving rapidly rapidly right now rapidly we just finished the concert in georgia um and now we're working on opening act which is um the hollywood bowl it's for artists that want to go to the hollywood bowl make it on the hollywood bowl and we we were currently in first place we moved to second then we moved to third then we're back in second Back and first, so right now it's just listen, it's just, family. We need to vote for them. They they going they gonna give me the link. I'm gonna send it out. We're gonna vote yes. for Adrian and Music Box. So as Adrian. as parents to a child yes, that has, I mean, to a young man that has autism, how does it feel? Because we like to keep it real on Marcus the interviewer show. So when you have your good days, your bad days, when you feeling depressed, stressed out. When you feeling like it becomes too much, how do y'all as a team handle that? Let one person go to sleep, take a nap, and let the other person tag team. You stupid, but it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then and then you know what? You know what? Certain days, even when we be like, oh, you're getting on my nerve. Oh, oh, oh. He does something to make you laugh. Or he played too much. Or, you know what I'm saying? He, he does something that really kind of get our mind off of us being tired of him at the moment. 
he does silly, silly stuff. So, you know, or either he'll sing a song or go play in the mirror or pull you in the bathroom with him, sing to you. Like, he sings 24 hours a day most of the time. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, normally, like, when I get tired, he do something. And then I'd be like, oh, boy, you get on my nerve, but you are so funny. You are so funny. So, you know, that's how we deal with him most of the time. Most of the time, we just deal with him because we know he's a part of our life. And just like he may get on our nerve, we may get on his nerve. So I, I treat him as though I would want somebody to treat me. I know sometimes he might get tired of me. A music box get tired of me. But he still stay in there, and that's how we got to treat Judah. We got to treat him the same way. He's still a person. He got feelings. So, you know, everybody had their days. Everybody. <sighs> I mean, I think that you and Music Box are truly inspirations. Y'all truly superheroes. I know for me and myself, when I was 13, almost 13 and a half, I was nonverbal until that age. I started speaking at almost, you know, at the two-year-old's level at the age. I didn't start speaking like I do now until I was almost 18. So, you know, January, I'd be 40. So, I mean, so the thing is, is that I understand it from every aspect and every level. And what I will say is charity starts at home. What you are, you and Music Box is providing Judah is so priceless and, 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 it's, and it's so magnificent that regardless if it's free or not, y'all are giving him foundation that a lot of, that a lot of um, individuals with autism do not get. I didn't get it. And uh, there's a lot more who didn't get it. You, you understand what I'm saying? So y'all for giving him a foundation that's going to be there for life. And plus, all three of y'all do music. That's even more incredible. Because I saw him. I saw him on the, the photo shoots and, and, and everything else that y'all be doing. Y'all truly make sure you include uh, Judah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every so I, I just think that... <laughs> I just think that it's so important. Now, um... Now, what what is... Like, um, how was it for you raising him as a mother? Like, um, how was it for me? Like, um, yes, ma'am. You know, I was a single mama for till like last year, so okay. I, it, it was, it was <clears throat> for me. It was challenging, but at the same time, God always showed me He was my blessing. It's just crazy. Um, Judah has gone through so much seizures. Everything, everything you can think of, he's he's gone through it, and just to see him today, and to see him every day, even those times or those moments I wanted to give up, those moments I got tired, those moments, it's like God gave me some extra strength, and and He placed the right people around me to help me, so I can help him because I was not verbal myself, I didn't talk until oh, wow. I was 16 years old. And I didn't start out talking. God sung. He, he told me, he showed me how to sing my way out of all those years of not speaking. All those years of going to therapists. One day, we was in the revival and I remember my mother was speaking in tongues and she looked at me and she said, you can have the same thing. You can do, God can do whatever you need him to do if you ask him. And I remember asking God in my mind to allow me to talk, allow me to be like everybody else because I was different. You know, I was, I was special needs too. And I went home that day, wow. my mom went to the store and the phone rang and the Holy Spirit told me to sing hello. That was the last time I was nonverbal. All those years, all those therapists that I went to, nobody worked, but God worked. So I can relate to Judah in a lot of his words because he's nonverbal too. He'll sing, he'll do other stuff, but he doesn't say a lot of sentences together. And it's been 18 years. I have still been believing God. Hey! Until my son told me hey! where he can speak, where he can say things. He can tell us how he feel. He can wow. express himself. And I'm going to keep believing until the day that I leave this place that God is a healer like he did me. He's not a respect of God. He can heal you and me. That he can't heal my son. He can heal him, and he's able. Oh, he definitely, he's definitely, he's definitely going to do right it. Now. Yep. I mean, I definitely believe it. My little brother, shout out to Alexander. You know what I'm saying, Mama Veronica. You know what I'm saying. Like, I really 
I, I really believe it. I mean, because, you know, I was told that I was going to be brain dead for the rest of my life. I would never yeah. feed myself, clothe myself, stay by myself. I would I would never get an education or anything else. I mean, I would just be on medication in, in, in those hospitals for the rest of my life. So, I mean, wow. at the end of the day, I know what God can do. Okay. I mean, like, you know what God can yeah. do. So now let's talk about the juicy stuff because here on Marcus the interviewer, we want to know what just what's, what's your hobbies, what what you like to do when you're not busy, like what type of stuff y'all like to get into you in the music box because I, I see him back there. I want him to participate. Everybody yeah, else, yeah, everybody yeah. can touch the altar. Everybody can. Okay, mostly on the hobbies. Basically, for me, is basically anything that's fun, anywhere where. All three of us can interact with each other. If we really can't interact with each other, really, basically, if Judah can't interact with it, we don't go. Because if we can't go nowhere and he's not comfortable, because mm. we can't enjoy ourselves. So we go places where we all can have fun. Due to like arcades, he was in the Special Olympics bowling, and he won a few of them. So we take a okay. bowling, like, 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 you know. I, I, when, when he was in school, uh, he had been in school since COVID because they're not taking any precautions to keep them safe to me. But uh, when he was in school, Judah was in the Special Olympics. We had him in everything. Everything I could put him in, I put him in it. And he c competed and he won a lot of stuff. So we try to do things that's fun to him. But wow. our, our fun time really is writing. It's, yep. it's vibing the music. We are music lovers, so we sit back and listen to a thousand beats and 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 vibe off of one of those beats and write some. Dope Listen, family, music. they don't no no family don't don't family don't chime in don't family don't you chime in they don't they don't know they just talking to a musical genius they don't know they don't know they just met me they just met me family saying. it's not their fault. They just met me they don't know they talking to a musical genius they they don't give give us a time give us a time. I heard about you. I already heard about you. Please believe that. But that's what we do a lot. We vibe off of music. We we love music. And and right now we're so we're so uh motivated and in, in, in this music thing that we have not stopped yet. Even during this time when we caught COVID, we still been sitting here with yeah. our pens writing, coughing, you know, whatever we gotta do to get through COVID, you know. You know, that's what we've been doing because we love music and we love being a blessing to other people with the music. We don't do it for no money. We don't care about no awards. Mm -hmm. All we do is, is so that people can hear God and know he's cool. Know that God will be there for you when you need him. You ain't got to come, you know, you ain't got to be right to come to him. You can come to him any kind of way that you are. And God accepts you and he loves you and he teaches you about life and how to go through life in this world that we live in and it gives us hope. And that's what our music does. It gives people hope that it, mm. it's okay if you mess up today, God still loves you. It's okay if you ain't feeling it, you know what I'm saying? Because they think that when you saved or when you're a Christian that you gotta be high, praise the Lord all the time. No, 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 no. We, we go through stuff like everybody else go through stuff. We have oh. temptations. We have everything that the world go through, we go through. And a lot of people don't know it's a fight for us. You know what I'm saying? So our music talks about the realness of being saved, the realness of being a Christian, the realness of how God really moves mm. in your life. And it's it's so true. Don't he move? Yeah, he moves. He, he moves. moves. Very, very he well. Moves. And every time you see me look up and look the other way, I'm looking at Judah. I'm trying to keep him at a level to where wow. we can do this. <laughs> wow. Listen, listen, I understand. Trust me. And you heard that, Grandma? They said you can come as you are. So we can stop spitting in my hair and making me wear penny loafers, okay? Because they said you can come as you, they said you can come as you are. So how can we find your music? Okay. How can, can we find, find your music? Our, yeah, we can. you can find our music. You actually can go to our Facebook page, which is Age in the Music Box. Or you can go on Apple Music. You can go on SoundCloud. You can go on YouTube. All platforms, you just type in Adrian and Music Box. You can Google us. You can actually Google <laughs> us as Adrian and Music Box. Not Adrian and Ann and then Music Box. It's 
Adrian, the and symbol, and then music box. When you type that in Google, it'll pull up a whole page. I'm glad you, music box, I'm glad you broke that down because you know some of my family members. Listen, I love my family, but you know, some of us is not all the way there with the basket. So I'm glad. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, I, now I, I, let I, me I, ask I, you I, something, I, Adrian, in the music box. Yeah, I have to say it that way because huh? if I tell somebody to put Adrian and the music, they're going to put Adrian and, and, the. and the music box. So it's really Adrian, the and symbol, and music box. Adrian, and symbol, music box. Yeah. Just so like are we able, are you going to be able to grace my family right here, right now, with a little taste? Or what Adrian and the music box can do. Can my family get a little taste of what Adrian and the family and, and what, what y'all can do? Okay. You want, I can, you, want me do, you want me to do a verse no. from my everything? Uh-uh. Location. Do location? Yeah. Uh, hey, y'all, we're getting over COVID, so <laughs> let's take a sip. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> It was a time I didn't know what to say, didn't know what to pray. I was going through some pain, some shame, much game. I didn't even know my name. See, I love with no limits, heartbroken now I'm in it. I'm going to win it. I'm sending it up. He's mending it up. Prayer's going up. Lord, hear my pain. Lord, I need you to send me. Your location, Lord, I send it to the sky, cause I know you hear my cry. Lord, I need you to send me your location, Lord, I send it to the sky, cause I know you hear my cry. First off, it was what made the clock it. Mary the Berry, Mary. DJ Longhead wasn't scary. Man, man, man I couldn't, couldn't carry. T. Carson was a blur. Tyson D, are you sure? Just Make making a detour to the location to I, ensure. I, Just roll the coat to dad. I'm on and praying to you. Yeah. Lord Heavenly yeah. Father, let me thank you for the day with you. This ride is Come unbalanced. Yeah. I need some new talent. Come my so-called friends is laughing. Come my past is Come attacking. On. Lord, I need you too. <laughs> That thing was on fire. Girl, <laughs> look, music box, stop playing with me. Listen, after we done with this in interview show, you already know, family. Look, don't you gotta tell me, stop yelling at me. You gotta tell me, yes, I'm gonna interview. Yes, I'm gonna produce them. Yes, I am. I am. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm gonna, sorry. We're gonna, I'm going to produce them. We're going to send you the link to, to the album on every platform. That way you can have it on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud. We're going to send you every link to it. You gonna love that's it. getting bumped in the car. That's 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 getting bumped oh, you ain't heard in the car. Nothing. You ain't heard nothing yet. You, you ain't heard <laughs> nothing. You going to love this album. I we have not had a bad review from any radio station yet on this album, and we are just so well. We about to do another album. We about we about to do another album. You hear it first, people. We're going to do uh, the autism music producer with some autism parents, and we're going to include the legend Judah in there. Everybody, we about to do an album. Let's do Forget it. that. Love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. Period. So. What type of advice would you give a young couple that's that's doing what y'all are trying that's that's trying to do what y'all are doing? So and they have a child that has special needs. What advice would you give this couple? You know, so you know the they advice, can yep. be able to the prosper. That I would give someone. See me, I actually came into their life. I came into her life. I came into Judah life. And I'm I'm going to be honest. I didn't know what to expect. By I, I've been around artist artist children, but I've never actually had one and raised one. So this is my first time ever doing it. So the advice I would give to somebody that's actually dealing with that, 
don't be scared. Go, go, go into, go into this situation like you open up the door, and you going into this bright light, and let's say you dream about nothing but ice cream. You open up the door, you see nothing but ice cream. That's how you got to go into this situation. You can't back down from it. You can't turn away from it. Because if God placed you in a place to where you need to be, then you need to stay in that position. Don't go away from it. Don't veer off from it. Don't let nobody talk in your ear to take you away from it. You have to stay with it. No matter how hard it get, no matter how bad it get, it's, it's a lot of good before it's bad. But you have to go through the bad to get to the good. So my advice is to stay with it. I mm. stay with it. Even it's been days where I did want to leave. But I moved, I dropped everything I had to move up here with them. So by me dropping everything I had to move in, to so move up here, I, I'm not finna give up. I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna stay right here. My advice is to ladies who have children that are special needs, especially if you're a single woman, <coughs> be careful who you choose. Be careful who's around your children. Be careful who you choose. Because you want to choose somebody that that not only you want in there, but who God has placed in there. It makes a difference when you have somebody God has placed. He talked about times he wanted to leave. He can't because God placed him there. And even if he wanted to walk away, God will deal with that. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, is for the woman to know who you're bringing around your children. Know who you're bringing into your life before you get all in it. Because you got to make sure that that person wants to be there, that they want to have that responsibility. One thing I can say about Mike, I would never know if he wanted to walk away. I would never have known it because he never showed it. He always showed me he loved Judah and he loved me. You know, and I know that we all get tired and it's all right to get tired sometimes. We all do. But to to just leave a situation, no. So you got to be careful about who you choose. I got to give you signs, even with uh, the previous, like his dad and things like God gave me signs on who I was dealing with. I chose him. And that's why I ended up in the position I was in, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is now I was very careful with who I chose to be around Judah and to be around myself and who I wanted to bring in my life. So my advice to the women is just pray about who God places in your life. And from there, even when it gets tough for both people, you have to choose to, to be obedient to who God has sent in your life. Period. Yep. That's it. That's my You know advice. what? You know what? I'm sorry, but shoot. I'm going to have to give y'all one of these. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all don't speak gospel up in here y'all just taking me to church in five minutes hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> so so where can people um again like um you know, if they want to get in contact with you, is there any numbers, emails, anything, um, you know, okay, well, so they can get in contact email. with, you know, Adrian and the Music Box? Yeah, the email is Adrian Music Box 1211 at gmail.com. Or you could just go on our messenger on, on Facebook, Adrian on the, on Adrian and Music Box Facebook page, Adrian Music Box Instagram. Adrian Music 22 on Twitter. We're all the way around, so you can get in contact with us anywhere several on the platform ways. in several yeah. different ways. Okay, so what do the super team, the super legends have coming up next? I know y'all are doing some big, amazing stuff. So what do the super team got coming up next? Oh, man. We got, um, of course, opening act. Y'all make sure you vote for Adrian Music Box on opening act. We are doing another Kingdom concert. 
um, in Birmingham at the Alabama Theater 2023. So we're getting ready for that. We're getting some comedians ready. We're getting some artists ready. Um, we, we're going to even have one of the choirs in the city to come and sing at this concert. This year, we were sold out, thank God, for Miss Avis at the Black Box. She was excellent. Yep. Miss Avis was excellent. Shout out to you, Miss Avis. Um, she's going to be helping us with the <coughs> other concert that we'll be Shout doing. Shout out to Miss Avis. But we're going to be doing a Kingdom concert tour. That's it. Mm. Yeah, I want to I wanna be a part of the tour. I definitely got an artist for y'all. I definitely got an artist for y'all. He's like 54 years old. The minister. That's who did my jingle. He's 54 years old. And he jumps off stages and everything else. He's in he was in Mexico jumping off stages, saving souls. So I mean he, <laughs> that's the right one for you. Because he'll pray and intercede. He'll pray and intercede quick. He'll pull over a car in the middle of the highway, start praying to intercede. Okay, he like that. That's the minister. That's me. So, <laughs> he tells it all me. That's her. I'll do it in a minute. I'll do it in a minute. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to definitely connect y'all with the minister because I feel like y'all both ways, y'all both vibes will fit each other's, you know, um, personalities and stuff of that nature. And you know he's a songwriter as well, and he do hooks and stuff like that. So I'm, I I know that it will be magical with y'all three in the same room. Oh yeah, yeah. Plus, oh, yeah. I'm his producer too. <laughs> so, All right, so All right. everybody get a spring. Hey, come on, come on. But it was an honor and a much of a privilege. I really want to thank Miss Avis for allowing me to introduce and interview the Gardner family. And people, listen, use this as an example. Use this as a lesson learned. That it doesn't matter what disability or diagnosis that you have. If you've got a gift, God is going to bring it out of you. God is going to push you through. God is going to excel you. God is going to propel you. So don't look at the diagnosis. I keep telling y'all, it's just a word. It's just a title. Autism, you can do anything you put your mind to That's right. with autism or whatever. So use this amazing family story as a catapult, as encouragement, as light to for you and your story, for you and your family. So I'm just honored that y'all was here and we definitely gonna be doing some work. That's 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 what our question. <laughs> that's that's what our question, and I will really be in Spartansburg. Um, October fifteenth, because I'm receiving an award there. But listen, let's let's go ahead and do some magic. Period. Because I I believe in y'all and anything dealing with autism, I'm gonna definitely stand on it, stand by it. Period. You. <laughs> so you don't even gotta worry about that. But until next time, people, you already know what it is. Every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, we here. Mark is the interviewer, so we're gonna leave. Like we came in. What's up, big? With this thing, bro. Oh yeah. What's good? Cut. I am telling you, man. Shout out to Minister, man. Shout out to Adrian, the okay. music writer. Shout out to Judah, the legend. Mr. Marcus Boyd, the interviewer. <laughs> you want the Scooby? Go give it to you. No matter the conversation, he's already prepared to go and get into it with you. If you want somebody that's willing to listen with positive information for the vision, then all you gotta do is give him a call or catch him on his Instagram. That's all, and he gon' get with you like ASAP. They gon' tell you where the place at, and he gon' give you every single thing you need in 